Okay, so this is uh, Shinobi Onibocho's Fruity Loops tutorial. Um, I really don't know where to begin, so I'm just going to go ahead and get into the very basics of this program. Uh, hopefully you guys on Rhyme Torrents will be able to gather a lot of information from this, and uh, the goal is to help you enough so that you can make your own beats. Um, here we go. I'm going to open up with basic uh, parameters of the program. What you have uh, here is the playlist. The playlist is very integral to Fruity Loops because it is actually like a sheet of music. And as you can see here, patterns can be placed in the playlist almost like little Tetris blocks. And when you press play uh, with the song highlighted as opposed to the pattern, it will play them sequentially how you arrange them. It's a quick example. This is what is called a pattern right here. And if I play the pattern singularly, it'll play itself over and over again. However, when I switch the song, it plays the song how I arranged the patterns. Hope this makes sense to you guys, because this is pretty basic. Now, pattern two, I'm going to create, and it's going to be different. And I'm going to put it in here. Off tempo, but whatever. You get the idea. You can make different patterns and place them in the playlist. It's pretty simple. This isn't that exciting, so I'm going to try and spice some things up for you. Uh, what's awesome about Fruity Loops is that you can arrange MIDI in such a way uh, that if you want to export it to another program like Reason, uh, the MIDI is is very nicely done. It's very easy to keep track of things. I'm going to show you the piano roll, which is a new window that opens up. Uh, I think the default display is like these little keys, like so. Right now, you're hearing uh, different uh, different claps. You can, I think it's like a 128 note polyphony of any sample you upload. So that's pretty nice. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab a instrument. I'm just going to go with the piano if I can find that very quickly. If not, we'll just use a chip. Let's see how the chip sounds. This is how you also add instruments into your instrument bank. You simply open up the browser, you grab the instrument that you want, and you drag it in. Uh, this is a little preview. You can also bend the knobs and choose different effects. Change the instrument up. I want to show you the piano roll so that you can get an understanding of how to create a melody. I don't really like this instrument though because it's kind of crazy. I'll just grab like a basic flute. Now you want to know what instrument you have out in the piano roll before you start notating MIDI. And you do that by clicking this button right here and you can scroll down through everything in your instrument bank. Alright. I like to start on C, so I usually drop a C in there. Notice that when you place a MIDI note, it automatically snaps to the grid. This is how you change the grid snapping option. Normally you want to keep it on line, and if, if anything else, if you want to put a MIDI note in that is not notated uh, snapping to the grid, go ahead and click None. But always remember to check back to line, otherwise you will be freaking out wondering why nothing is lined up when you try to do regular things again. So I'm going to keep it on line. And then we're going to sample this. Wasn't that amazing? That's Do Re Mi by Shinobi. Um, what I want to show you here is the length of these can be changed. If you if you wait for this symbol to appear and you left click, you can make it longer or shorter. Okay. Also, if you right click, it's gone. This is what is the greatest feature about Free Loops. You click. You right click, it disappears, you click, you drag, it gets longer. A lot of other programs do not have this integral feature, so I would definitely promote the use of Fruity Loops 
uh, whenever you want to brainstorm and make melodies. Now that I have this melody, I'm going to put it into the, the uh, playlist and see how I can change it up in the song. I put it in here. I switch from pattern back to song and this is how my song is going to sound alright I really wouldn't spit rhymes to this but I think you're starting to understand the basics 